good morning grade 5 and a warm welcome to the english class when children can you identify this what's this i know many of you are going to say a dot okay what if i write this not right what if i draw this here now can you identify this or if i do it like this yes what is this children these are bullet points right a small dot or sometimes we have circle also sometimes children there are other shapes also you know in the computer if you see it will be something like this and like this a little longer okay so these are all bullet points now children let's see your textbook okay uh open to page 1 what's that page 1414 unit 2 the one which we did in the zoom class okay unit 2 we are on page 1414 can you see this yes one of you identified this when i asked you this question yesterday in the zoom class remember i said how is this information given in the text and one of you said ma'am bullet points so these are bullet points right now children why do you think these bullet points are there in a text or why does the writer use bullet points yes think just think about it why do you think a writer use why do writers use bullet points take a moment and think so well children did you get an idea why do you think the writer let's look at this text okay why do you think the writer has used bullet points as one of the child said to present the information the writer has used to present information in this in this text okay so he has used the bullet points so the reason children is that the writer use bullet points to separate each piece of information can you see he separating the information right if you look here also the matches can you see he separating the information okay to separate each piece of information or to show where each piece of information begins so one is the writer is using to separate each piece of information or to show where this information begins can you see how it is beginning here he is talking of bowlers here he is talking of the number of players right so children i have just made a small note you can just go through it and see it's there in your textbook also let's read it from here from this notebook bullet points bullet points help readers to find important information quickly you remember children for this lesson we had uh, skimming and scanning when i said quickly run through the lesson right so because of the bullet points it makes easy reading they make it clear where each item on a list begins now let's take this example children the viking example we are familiar with this the viking story the vikings built can you see now they have separated the information over here long narrow boats for riding wider and higher boats for trading so this is this is 
the item on the list. It makes it clear where each item on the list begins. Right? Sorry children, this word is reading. Okay? So now children, uh, please open your textbooks. Page 1818 to punctuation. 1818 unit 2. Okay? Now let's read the textbook. Bullet points. Bullet points help readers to find information quickly. Children, you remember when we did this lesson, I told you to uh, uh, skimming and scanning, where you quickly uh, run through the lesson so that you can pick up information quickly, right? Because this information, as you see, children, in the text, there are a lot of bullet points, so it makes very easy reading. Reading becomes easier. So if the information in the bullet, sorry, bullet points make it clear where each item in a list begins. Right? As I told you about the Viking boat. This one, can you see? Here they are talking of narrow boats, which is used for reading. And here they are, used, they are speaking of higher and wider boats. So they make the list clear. Now, if the information in the bullet points is in complete sentence, use capital letters and full stop. Children, very very important. When you have a complete sentence, a complete sentence is what? It begins with a capital letter, ends with a full stop. Okay? So, whenever you have the information in the bullet point is in complete sentence, you will use capital letter and full stop. Now, see the second one children. One day international matches are shorter. So, this also is a complete sentence. You begin with a capital letter, end with a full stop. Now, move to the next paragraph. If the information is written in phrases, do not use capital letters. Or full stop. For example, Mutia Murli Tharan, born 1972, began, began career 1992, ended career 2010. Okay? Now children see this is not a complete sentence. It is just phrases. Now children we know what are phrases. Phrases they are not complete sentence but they make sense. When you read a phrase, okay, it is an expression and it gives meaning to what the writer wants to say if the writer is using a phrase, right? So now children, let's move to this exercise here, the A1, okay? You have three, one, two, three. Now children, the first one is fairly easy. I think this you will be able to do. I will help you with the second one. Okay, so the first and the third will be your homework. One and three will be your homework that is on page 18, 1818, right? So let's read the second one children. Please read, take a moment and please read. Now think how would you use these phrases or these sentences, how would you use and where would you put your bullet points. Just take a minute, go through it, read the paragraph. We are doing the second one children. I repeat we are doing the second one. First and the third one is for homework. Okay. Done. Okay, in one day international matches, each side can bowl up to 50 overs. Each team wears different colored clothing. The winning team is the one that scores the most runs. Yes, now how am I going to do this? Let's see. So... We will use two color 
pencil so it becomes easier for us to identify okay now children no there is no need for you to write the paragraph again you directly start with your bullet points okay so what will be my first over here well children so let's begin with a we need to give a heading over here okay as uh, you see your children you see in your paragraph over here they start with the heading the team and then they write the bullet point similarly for this the matches and then they have written the bullet points and even the example which i showed you of vikings you remember that uh, sentence which i showed you children this one see we had it the vikings built long narrow boats for raiding right wider and higher boats for trading so first we need to give a heading what heading would we give think you have read the paragraph children you have the textbook in front of you what heading would we give think think yes have you come up with any idea the second one can we see one day international matches children yes okay so one day international matches okay now what will be my first bullet point take a look come on think what would be my next bullet point hmm yes they are talking of the overs so let's take the first bullet point where we can say each team has 50 overs now the second bullet yes come on children what about the clothing yes so let's take that as a second bullet so we can say teams wear different colored children please check your spellings when you are writing colored clothing the last one should be simple children we have only the the last we can only have the last bullet now the third one think the winning team is the one that scores the most runs yes okay so winning team scores most runs okay children so you got an idea did you get an idea how we go about it so for your homework children you are going to do this page that is capital a you will do 1 and 3 the second one i have done and children you are also going to complete this page now these are these are very simple children these answers and this word check is very simple we had it during zoom and most of you answered right so you are going to do the word check you are going to do the phrases and then i want you to do the comprehension a comprehension b and also the comprehension c c we have discussed it this was our introduction when we started the lesson 
right these are all direct answers children only there is no personal response over here so you can do you can manage this by yourself so that's all children and please study for your test i have given you already given you a revision paper please solve the revision paper right children so that's all children from my side thank you stay safe and be happy bye bye